This week's show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show, week 33, I think. It may be 34, who knows? Uh, but it's great to be back, and this time not on my scooter. I fell off last week, it really hurt. I scraped all my shorts right after that last clip, and I was like, oh my goodness, there were people watching. I was like, no! So the scooters are great, just don't do them on gravel. That's the uh, best bit of advice from here at Magic World. So, today we are going to be reviewing three, two products. Two products, not three products. One of them is a giveaway. Uh, the two products we're gonna be reviewing today is Fishing by Under Magic. So, it's G. Alexander and Under Magic. Um, coming very shortly. Then we also have the most innocent looking hot rod ever, the Search Engine Pen by Jeff Price. So that is the review show this week. Uh, let's move on to item number one. Item number one is the uh, Search Engine Pen. It's gonna be a nice and quick review show this week as well. Just to the point, showing you exactly what these products are like. Let's cut to the trailer to the Search Engine Pen now. So here at the Magic Shop we sell a ton of different types of hot rods, but the problem is that they all look like this, a magic rod. The search engine pen is the first one that looks totally organic. In performance, the spectator thinks of one of the colors, and with a shake, the entire logo changes to that color. The set includes an additional pen that can be handed out for complete examination at the end. The search engine pen combines the world's most iconic search engine logo with the hot rod methodology to create the most natural looking hot rod ever, and it's now available at magic stores near you. And welcome back. Well, as you can see, it's uh, it's a hot rod mixed with a pen that kind of looks like Google. Um, I have been told as well from last week that I was tapping the table a lot, so I'm not going to do that this week, I promise, or step on that creaky floorboard that's right beneath me. Quite simply, this product, I will say, is a nice walk around, easy product to perform. In terms of difficulty, there is no real difficulty to it. You could pick this up if you're a complete beginner. So that's one of the nicest things about it. If you're a complete beginner, you can do this and it's more modern than the other hot rods around in terms of it's been brought up to date, it's a bit more modern. Why are you carrying a stick with you that have weird colors on them? Um, at the end of the day, I don't think that's such a bad thing. It's okay for magicians to have props. We're expected to have props. However, this does bring it a little bit more modern, makes it more modern and it makes it a bit cooler. Um, and the great thing about this product is the price and of course the quality. The price is only $8.99, so it's a great price. Um, it's one of those prices that you just don't think don't think twice about at all. You know, $8.99, nine quid, a few beers, boom, you've got this. That's presuming you drink beers. Um, the actual pen itself is made quite nicely. Uh, well, very nicely, to be fair. I'm not gonna give away any sort of things here. However, of course, due to copyright, it's not Google, it's Kugel. Kugel pen. Uh, but you really don't notice that when you're just showing it quickly. Um, it's a basic mark, a basic pen, sort of a biro pen, um, but it does allow you to do the usual sort of thing where each letter is a different color and you can change it into their chosen color. Um, and there's various ways of, uh, of doing that. So basically it turns into their color, then if you want, you can even hand the pen out. So it comes with everything necessary so that you can do this, trick um, it comes with instructions not video instructions because quite frankly you don't need it for this if you really need video instructions for this then there is something wrong I'm afraid because this is super easy to pick up and uh, all you have to be able to do is the paddle magic move the paddle magic move that's not giving away any secrets to any non-magicians there is it um, so yes um, 
All in all, it's a nice novel product. Uh, would I add this to my repertoire tomorrow? Not as a, a main ending, not maybe as a maybe as an introduction, as a thing. Oh, have you dropped your pen? It says cool on it. Ooh. Um, maybe as a way into somebody or at a bar, just a nice little introduction. I wouldn't say it's incredibly strong, but I wouldn't say it's weak either, if that makes sense. I'd also say if I had any, if I really had to criticise this, I'd probably say that because the writing and the font is so thin. Like, like Google, uh, you basically, you don't, it's not as noticeable as it would be if the dots were quite large, like on a, a traditional hot rod. So it's, it doesn't, although it, there is a change and it is magical, it could be probably a stronger change if it were using solid round circles, but that defeats the whole object of this pen. The whole object is to modernize it, bringing it up with the times and uh, make it usable in that respect. So all in all, I've rambled up on enough about this pen now. I think it's definitely worth it. At 8 99 it's a steal, an absolute steal. You get two props inside here as well and it is made by Jeff Brace. I nearly forgot, before we move on, I need to give this a rating. So what do I give? The search engine pen for a rating. I think it is deserving of mm, I am going to say, I'm going to say a seven and a half. I think that's fair because at the end of the day, it is a great little effect. It's not a world class, crazy levitation effect, but it is a great little effect to carry around with you. So seven and a half, I think is great for that. And uh, is it due to go on the workers wall? I will say probably not. I'm afraid. So it's not going to go on the worker's wall. However, it doesn't mean it's not a worker because it is a worker. It's one that you will carry around. It's simply because the worker's wall has such high standards in, in the tricks that are on there at the moment. So let's move on to product number two. Product number two is Fishing by G. Alexander and Under Magic. Now, I must admit, when I first got this, I thought, oh, it's just like a little box here. Um, the same sort of box you get your headphones in not really great packaging, um, but I was surprised. The price of this trick is £36.99. £36.99. Let's cut the trailer to it now. Okay, welcome back. Well, this really surprised me. I I got this and I thought, oh, this is not gonna be that good. Um, and how wrong could I be? Uh, this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. No, it's not one of these street magic walk around tricks that you can just do immediately. However, you could easily fit it into your backpack, uh, into a small sort of cool back, and you're ready to go. So yes, you could do it on the streets. It's just not one of those, uh, I guess it's sort of more of a parlor trick uh, than an impromptu effect is the way I'm gonna say this. However, uh, yes, it could be done on the street, but it's more of a parlor trick, more of a mini stand-up piece. Um, this will play in so many situations. It'll play, on, it'll play on the street, it'll play to young people, it'll play to kids' parties, it, because who doesn't carry headphones around with you nowadays? You know, Apple iPhone headphones, uh, they're everywhere. So it's a natural thing for you to see. And now you can go into a trick with them um, that is a very different way of producing a playing card, a chosen playing card. So, uh, yeah, it is genuinely a really, really nice little item. I had a go with it and it surprised me how well it worked. Um, it worked superbly well. Yes, you have to just do, get a few things aligned in where you want them to be. Um, so in terms of like, if you're going to be, it's not totally impromptu, you need to set things up prior. 
uh, but once things are set up and things it's ready to go every time so it's uh, it's quite a quick setup if you wanted to move on to someone else and do it not table magic by any means um, but it could be used at a table if that makes sense if you had the right area the right small part of a case that you could do this with um, all in all yes it did surprise me it comes with a little card inside it and that little card has the uh, of course the login details to watch the video the video is about six or seven minutes long so it's not a really long video however it doesn't need to be for this effect it really will you will pick it up as quickly as that in just a couple of minutes I was doing it immediately um, as you will see because right now I'm going to cut to me doing it very quickly right now oh oh sorry hey yeah, do you want to see a really cool trick? Okay, we've got a bit of a box here, but first of all, I need to take a card. So let's give these pack a little shuffle. Don't worry about cards going all over the place. Say stop whenever you like as I go through the cards. Doesn't matter where they say stop, stop. Have a look at your card, remember it? That's brilliant, your card is now lost in the pack. First of all, make sure your card is not on top. It's somewhere around here. Make sure it's not in the middle either. Because now we're going to take all these cards and drop them inside the cardboard box. Ooh, yes. Now let's try to go fishing. Because I love fishing. Would I sing when I fish? Would I say fish when I sing? I don't know. But let's try this. I'm going to just dip it in here. There we go. Yes. I knew I'd be good at fishing. Was your card the Four of Hearts? Yes! Thank you very much, gone fishing. No, it's not called gone fishing, it's called fishing, but I have gone fishing. So there we go, it is different. It's more modern than the old traditional with a rope. Uh, is it better? can't say it's better but it works really well let's put it that way and it does have a reason you know we don't all carry a rope around with us but uh, most of us do have these on us now so young people can relate to it it's definitely a good trick it is on the pricey side but I can totally understand why um, although they've not spent the money on the <laughs> the packaging because that's probably how it came uh, they just got a sticker on it saying here uh, don't let that disappoint you it is well worth it um, I think a good amount of thought has been put into this trick and you will be doing it literally within about a couple of minutes you will be performing this trick so you can put all your time into your presentation into making it look good so there we go that is the end of the review show I need to give this item a rating now out of 10 out of 10 now I showed this to um, one of my friends who lives in the office next door and uh, just before I was going out and he really really liked it um, I, I show him quite a lot of the review items really to see what a layperson's view is on uh, on the tricks and uh, he thought it was really novel really different there is a downside you can't do it with a signed card so you know there will be ways on stage of doing it similarly potentially with a signed card but most of the time it's not with a signed card so that's the only cover really but apart from that it works really well. Uh, kids will love it, adults will love it, everyone will love it. So I am giving this a clear seven. So that is, no, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna match the other product. Seven and a half for fishing because it's good. I can see myself doing this in the right situation. And uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So well done under magic, no, yeah, under magic and G Alexander fantastic product um, and most important thing it looks realistic as well I mean it is a pair of headphones it just is a pair of headphones so it is great um, that's the end of the review show thank you for tuning in once again okay it's competition time and this week we will be giving away a UPD wallet yes UPD wallet um, I think it's on the websites for about between $29.99 and $36.99 all over. Uh, we'll give this away free. All you have to do is down below leave a really nice comment. Down below leave a really nice comment in the show more section uh, below that. Uh, and also pass it on to one or two of your friends or as many as you can. You know, we're not restricting you. But uh, pass it on, like it, all the usual things. Uh, leave a nice comment of what you liked, what you potentially would advise us to uh, improve our review show in the future but uh, leave a nice comment do all the usuals and 
If you do win it, we'll be selecting using a random number generator. So whoever leaves a comment from 1 to 50, we will randomly pick a number, we'll count down and we'll pick that person out and then we'll get in touch with you. We'll leave it in the show more section of next week's video and then we need you to get back to us with your address as well because sometimes people don't get back with their addresses and then we can't always send the products out. So please do leave us your address. Uh, this will, oh the light's gone out. This will ship, I'll ship this worldwide. I won't do it recorded, I'll just do it basic uh, delivery but we'll ship this worldwide to any customer in the world. So that's the UPD wallet competition time for this week. Um, for myself, James Anthony, Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. I like it when I cut trailers. It means I can have a, a sip of my tea. Oh, so nice. First cup of tea of the day. Okay, we're still recording right now. That's brilliant. Uh, let's take off the box. Do me a favour, say stop whenever you... Oh, <sighs> this light never stays on. Hopefully the green screen's still working, but it never stays on. Oh, I can have my cup of tea again now.